Hello movie lovers, if you're looking for information on independent horror films or short films or haunted attractions, then definitely make your subscription today at TN Horror News, where they got you covered. If you want your horror fix, that is the place to go to to get your information. The Spiritualist, written and directed by Carl Metlin. I really enjoyed this film from beginning to the end. I definitely enjoyed this film way better than, what was that one film that I cannot remember? Because <laughs> I don't even want to remember it. Um, it's called, uh, what was it called? The, sl the Slumber? Slumber? Yes. Slumber? Don't punch me. Okay, all right, Slumber. Um, I enjoyed this film a lot better because it definitely touched on the dynamics of sleep paralysis a lot better than that film did because it's like that film tried to be scary and this film it just stuck to the it, it kept that good classic ghost element to it and that's what I like what they did with it what the film is about this um, young lady named Laura that's dealing with the loss of her mom her mom was going through very deep depression which she had a lot of good reasons to go through depression but then as her depression kept going it was getting darker and deeper and deeper which led into deeper things further than that and Laura's going through that you know she's got the house I mean this is one big giant mansion I mean it's so huge that I can't believe like the outside of the house it's like one minute you, you, you see the landscape of this house outside but then when you look at the out the fuck it's just a big ass house that's all I can have to say about the house I don't want to get to the dynamics of it because I'm gonna make an ass of myself but to make a long story short um, you know, she's dealing with that and she's dealing with, when she goes to sleep, she's going through her sleep paralysis situation. So when she's trying to get up, she's, you know, stuck at her bed. She can't believe what she's seeing, but what she's seeing coming towards her is kind of blurry. So she's dealing with that out the day. Then she's seeing her mom out the day. Then one minute she see her husband in bed, but then she go downstairs to get a glass of milk. Then she see her husband comes out of the kitchen and then she cuts him out like, wait a minute, I saw you in the bed. I mean, she really starts to trip. So throughout the day, you know, she's talking to her father. She's trying to figure out, like, Dad, I don't know what's wrong. You know, I don't want to end up like Mom. You know, you know how Mom ended up, and the father's just letting her know, like, you're not going to end up like her. You know, we took care of her the best way we can. So she invited a few friends over, and she invited a specialist over. And from that point, that's when everything turned upside down, and that's when the twists and turns kicked in. I really like what they did with this movie. This movie was a lot better, and I like how they really brought that in. I like how they really broke down with, you know, para paralysis, sleep paralysis. I said, pa -pa -pa -pa. <laughs> fuck a porky pig. Man, let's get this movie rated, shall we? I give this movie a thumb up and a big smiley face. Oh, yeah. And there was also some awesome performances by Caroline Burns Cook. I like her character because she was the spiritualist. You know, she was the one letting everyone know what, um, she was giving them education on what was sleep paralysis was and she also was telling them the difference between what that was and how what depression is as well and how that leads to the spiritual well the spiritual world and how it has levels and how everything was and i like that little seance that they was having at the table and she was helping them with the other side and helping them understand everything so i like i like how she was just smashing the dynamics between everything um uh, Jasmine Banks, uh, she she played as Laura, so she was the daughter. So I liked her character as well. I like how you got to see her character be weak in her moment and weak in her time, but you also got to see her become a stronger woman as she go to do you know go through these certain situations. And don't get me started with Julie T. Wallace. My goodness, that woman was a powerhouse. She played as the mom. Yes. She was outstanding in this film. Especially the part when she grabbed her daughter by her throat. I thought she was going to put her through the door. <laughs> <laughs> I lied to you not. Like, the, her on-screen performance is very strong. Um, the supporting cast did an amazing job as well. And huge shout-out to the director for writing and directing this film. Because he knew exactly... It's like he understood everything. He understood sleep paralysis. He understood the difference between that. And that was broken down perfectly. And he understood... Um, depression because a lot of people don't understand the level of depression and where how many flaws that depression has because depression leads you to a certain isolation 
that you can't get yourself out of. And it leads into deeper situations as well to the point where it starts to bring other things in as well. But we're not going to get into those spiritual talks because I know some of y'all can't handle that. So I'm not going to drop that knowledge on y'all today. You know what I'm saying? So let me stop. <laughs> anyway, um, huge shout out to Midnight Releasing for giving us the opportunity to see this film. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. This film was awesome. And it, and it's really, it feels good to see a, something classic like this. And it felt rich. But I'm glad that they, they stayed away from the jump scares and truly told the story the way it needed to be told. And that is wrong with horror films today. Everybody wants to do the scare thing, but they dismiss the story. And this film definitely kept it true to what's going on today so thank you so much um don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to leave a comment let me know what you think about the spiritualist because it's available right now you can get this film um it's available on amazon voodoo vod and itunes definitely pick this film up show your love and support guys no pirating definitely get out support the film support independent films just like we need support on net neutrality because right now they're trying to shut down our internet it's all types of messed up things going on right now. So get out and really support these methods, man, before it's too late. And, yeah. and it's gonna be it, it's not gonna be too many things rolling around for us to say. You know, you don't wanna have that conversation like, yeah man, I miss you know when we used to have ain't gonna be too much conversations for that. And to all my movie lovers, keep it scary. We love you.